So Sturtvale Station, it's located 290 kilometres northeast of Adelaide, by Barra, approximately 1,100 square kilometres. Um, so at Sturtvale, I think over the last six years, between 2016 and 2019, the drought was probably a big wake-up call for us, um, which led us down the path of trying to change the business and make it more of a sustainable business. Through that we then got on to, came across carbon farming um, and it was a natural reforestation project which you had to do human induced techniques to I suppose justify that you are regenerating the land and we were doing that so it made complete sense to go down that path. Righto, my name's Simon Robinson. I've been working at Sturtvale now for seven and a quarter years. Came here in uh, August of 2014 um, when it was mainly merinos uh, and Hereford cattle. Since then we've been uh, changing things around. We've gone from merino to dorper and changed our operations to try and improve the countryside with uh, rotational grazing put in place so the country can get back to where it used to be. Uh, we're in the process of um, re rebuilding from scratch, basically, because the uh, fencing is not suited for Dorper. It's old black wire merino fencing, four plane wires, and that was it. Um, so we're a massive overhaul. We also uh, do a lot of goats here, a lot of goats that migrate in from the northeast. So the strategies we're putting in place at Sturtbow to enable us to do the carbon project, uh, putting in total grazing pressure fencing, so which allows us to contain the dorpers, trap the dorpers and move them on. Um, and on the same hand, it allows us to trap feral goats and remove them off the property, which ultimately allows the land to be rested and regenerate. So Sturtvale have partnered with Green Collar to get a carbon project up and running on their station. There is a fair few uh, details and a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into getting a carbon project established. So the first stage is that um, we, we do a carbon assessment from the satellites to see if there's actually the vegetation that we're looking for. So under the method, the human induced regeneration method, which is applicable to Sturtvale, We've got to make sure that there is country there that's got woody vegetation on it that's below two metres of height that has the potential to get to two metres of height and 20% canopy cover over the 25 year um, project period. So from there, once the contracts are sorted out, then we get the ground, ground truthing team come out to make sure that that project is what it says it's on, it is on the assessment from the, uh, from the satellite stuff. There's also a lot of behind the scenes work that has to go into collecting information um, because you've got to have evidence to show that, uh, that the place has been suppressed for some reason in the past. And then to get the project, what you've got to do is make management changes into the future that is going to enhance that woody vegetation to grow. So in terms of uh, project and knowing whether you've got a project on your property, the project that we've just been talking about is a human induced regeneration project. So there are all different methods uh, in that agricultural space that can have a project. So with the human induced regeneration, you've got to have large areas of land, usually in pastoral country. There's also a soil carbon method uh, that a lot of the, I guess, high rainfall, uh, better, better grazing country, farming country is uh, applicable for. There's also uh, avoided clearing methods, there's industrial methods, there's, um, there's feedlot sort of stuff, there's herd methods as well. Um, so across the board, there's a lot of different methods that fit into each individual sector. There, there is a lot of emerging markets there at the moment. So there's three, three different markets, I guess. There's the government market, there's the, the big businesses that have to purchase credits, and then there's the volunteer market. Now, this volunteer market is, uh, absolutely growing strength by strength overnight. The carbon, pro, the carbon price 
Uh, over the past year, the spot price has gone from about $15. I think today I had a look, it was $41.50. Um, so that sort of indicates a couple of things, probably the lack of supply, but also the, uh, the very high demand that, uh, that, that you, your normal day-to-day -day business has and, and can see their social responsibility, um, whether it just be to their, their, their clients, to their shareholders or whatever it may be. So um, generally pastoral country in, in Australia over the years, it's, 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 it's been, uh, people have used the country, we've always looked after it, but we have used the country and probably need to change our ways a little bit. Um, country is definitely nowhere near as good as it used to be, uh, certain species take over when you belt your country up. So our aim here is to get it back to where it should be.